Hello, I'm Edward and welcome to WindowsReport.com. In this video, I will show you how to fix the MSI Net Device Manager 40 fatal error. This type of error can appear during the installation of HP printer software and the cause can be due to incorrect system settings, file corruption or even antivirus conflicts. So let's take a look at how to solve this issue in no time. For a more detailed explanation and even more solutions, please check the article in the description below. The first solution is running an SFC scan. Press the start button in the lower left corner and type in CMD. Then right click on command prompt and run as administrator. Then enter SFC slash scan now and press enter to run the system file checker scan which might take about half an hour or longer. Lastly, restart the desktop or laptop if the SFC scan does repair system files. Another great solution is uninstalling any or all HP printer drivers or software. Software conflicts might occur while attempting to install a new HP printer in the presence of already installed HP printers. This results in the MSI Net Device Manager 40 fatal error. So you may have to uninstall all existing HP printer software from your Windows PC. Click the start button in the lower left corner and simply type printers. Then click printers and scanners. Under printers and scanners section click on your printer and select remove device. When asked to confirm just click yes. Then close the printer and scanner window. Next click the start button in the lower left corner then type apps and features. Then click on the apps and features option. Then in the following window just select your printer and click uninstall. Follow the on-screen instructions. Now restart your PC. Take out the new printer's installation CD and insert it into your system and follow the prompts to complete the new install process. In addition, you may consider downloading the Microsoft Visual C++ 2010 redistributable package. This installs runtime components of Visual C++ libraries required to run applications such as HP Printer. You can also disable your security software. To do that, just right click the Windows 10 taskbar and then select Task Manager. Afterwards, go to the Startup tab and now select your antivirus utility and press the Disable button. The antivirus software will no longer start when you reboot Windows. Another great solution is running Windows Update. You can do that by clicking the Start button in the lower left corner and then writing Settings. Then click the Settings option. Now navigate to Update and Security section. There you have to click Check for Updates button. Windows will now check for available updates. If any updates are available, they will be downloaded automatically in the background. Once you downloaded the updates, they will be installed as soon as you restart your PC. And another useful solution is clearing the spooler files and restart spooler service. To do this, just click the Start button in the lower left corner and simply type Services. Then click on Services. Afterwards, you have to find the Print Spooler service in the Services window and then double click it. Select Stop and then OK. Then click the Start button in the lower left corner and type Run. In the Run window, just type the following command and press OK or Enter. Then select the file folder. You may need admin privileges to access it. Inside the printers folder, delete all the existing folders. Then go back to services, double click print spooler again, then click start. Go to the startup type list and select automatic. Then click apply and OK. Afterwards, just install the printer software again. For more information and details, please check the article in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.